Oh no, I don't see myself. Well, then work the mirror, then work the mirror. You see yourself in there, good? Oh yeah, now I see. All right, go go talk and tell what had just happened with us. Okay. And when we was talking about faith, and then uh, he said, "Seek ye first the kingdom you know, of God." And then you said, "If you I be single, okay, good. I'll start talking. Yeah. Go ahead." Okay, the thing is, is that, um, Ronnie, I came to see my husband today, and the thing is that he had something to say to me, which was glorious, and it said, um, and in the, when he, when we was talking, he said that, that God was going to give us the blood, you know, he was going to add us, add on to us the blood. blood, clean, clean our blood, blood out, because our blood is polluted. And so, therefore, he changes our because blood. Of what to Adam, as right? we as we talk about God, we're taking communion, and a lot of people don't know that. And he said that they take communion without discerning the body yep. properly. Yeah. So when you talk about God, you should only think of holiness, because God is holy. You know, there's nothing else added. So. When you talk about God, you should have a clean talk. You know, your talk should be talk clean. Because when Jesus came to the temple, he said, "In your um, now that now that you heard me, you know, your your hearing, your whole body is washed clean." And it was like, who is he? Only God can can can, can, can uh, forgive sin. And they started to mock him and, and you know, t t saying things all, all like through stones and stuff. So anyway, um, when I came over today, I said these words to him. I said, um, I was talking about um, his niece and um, he was talking to me and he was saying, uh oh, here we go. Something's happening. See, you just take that out and get rid of it. Hey, I think you ran out of gas. Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> yeah, you lost your anointing. Yeah, I, uh, uh, well, I want to tell you what happened. No. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I can I'll hear say it. it. I'll say it on here. Yes, I'll say it on here. Um, yeah, I was at Rosie's place um, yesterday. And this girl, I was talking to her, and she was talking about... I was telling, telling that her that I need to come and see my husband. He's in the hospital and he need a, he has an amputee leg. And I told her that um, he couldn't go outside. And she said, can you get a wheelchair? Did he, I said, yeah, he has a wheelchair. But the thing is, he's uncomfortable. And then she said, well, may, you can go online and <clears throat> you can get people to donate some money so that he can get a, um, a wheelchair where you can... He uh, electric. go electric, yeah, electric uh, wheelchair. So I ran this by his niece, and um, I said, "Only the only thing I want you to help me with is um, um, helping money get donations for his wheelchair." And she was acting like she didn't know nothing about computers or whatever, though I see her all the time at Rosie's on the computer. And I asked her, and she she was like, huh, what, no, uh-uh, you know, playing dumb. Now she's going to play dumb, you know, because she don't want to help out with this. You know, that's just stupid. Yeah, it figures. She got the same spirit that Donna got. It's almost like they seem like they were best friends, uh -huh. and they just in cahoots. But she don't know her, but that's that proof to you. That is a spirit because that thing, you go here, you see it. You go there and see it. And the two people that got that spirit don't even know each other. Spirit travel, man. Yeah. But what God showed me was so awesome. I had made another video just now before you came. And it was talking to the Lord saying, faith, he told me this a long time ago. Faith is not only a fruit of the spirit, it's a gift of the spirit. But he said you should know them by their fruit, not their gift. Uh -huh. And um, the fruits of the Spirit, where is that at? We're talking about the fruits of the Spirit. I got to go there and look. 
Uh, who in the spirit is? I think the L and the P. O P Q R. Well, yeah. The fruit of the spirit. Okay. Okay, fruit. Galatians 5.22. Take this, Nick. Take this from me. Galatians 5.22. Okay, and we'll read the what are the proofs of the Spirit because I kind of forgot some of them. Come on, Galatians 5.22. And it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with its affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another to envying one another. So we've got to get this. Uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love. And remember what it says over there in Timothy. Perfect love casts out all fear. So he said if you fear, you're not perfected in love. Because God is love. And if any man do, do, dwells in God, he dwells in love. Uh -huh. And perfect love casts out all fear. You know what this pointing to? Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God. People can't think that when you're in matter of fact. When, the, when I mention this to people that go to that place, that they call the church, they get highly offended and look at me like I got ten heads and I'm, I come from the pit of hell. And I'm reading scripture to you. It's a scripture. The Lord said, let that mind be in you. And when I show them that that's the mind that I have, they get highly offended mm -hmm. and bent all out of shape. Yeah. All out of shape. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When, when um, Jesus, Lord, let me tell you why. Okay? This is why. Okay, now, if, okay, now, if the people up on the earth gets all bent out of shape, have you heard have you heard the stories of about people who went to hell and came back to life and then when Jesus showed up they were no, like crying out crying out for Jesus to help them out of the hell that they done got themselves yeah, in trying and to talk then, their way out of and hell and then and then after Jesus said that the righteous that he, um that you shall live by faith the righteous shall live by faith then and he walked away and then then they start yelling at Jesus calling him all kinds of names because they they want to get out and you wouldn't let them out. So imagine when they were on the earth, I mean, how they were, were, you know, how they would use his name in vain. You're not supposed to do that, you know. You're supposed to talk in love. He said, let your conversation be in love and not, you know, arrogant, you know, not puffed up, you know. Love is not puffed up. And it doesn't demand its own way, you know. It doesn't, you know, because God, He He know how to separate. He knows how to add, and He knows how to separate. Uh, let me tell you something. He knows how to bring people into their life and send them away. Oh yes, He does. Here, man, take these. Take these two books. Okay. Yeah, because they're gonna get in my way. Actually, they go right here. Put them okay. back up there. Um. Yeah. Um. We sharing this video a little bit. Um, what's going on? The thing is, uh, the reason why um, we need to be very confident mm -hmm. at where we are right now in our religious walk and our walk with God, because this, this battle, so-called battle of this walk, mm -hmm. the Bible said the steps of the righteous men are ordered of the Lord. So where we are is exactly where God wants us to be. Mm -hmm. See, this you have to see this because it'll give you confidence at any point where you come to a point where, where they call a bump in the road. Mm -hmm. 
if having this confidence, he said, cast not away your confidence. Mm -hmm. See, having this confidence will yeah. shut the mouth of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And it will sustain you as well. It'll keep you. Mm -hmm. It'll keep you. That's why somebody said, blessed assurance. Mm -hmm. He said, um, you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind. Mm -hmm. The book of Acts declares. Or Romans. Yeah. See, if you ain't fully persuaded, that means that... See, when, notice when they came to Jesus, when the, when Satan, the devil, whatever you want to call him, yeah. came to Jesus, Lucifer, one yeah. of the Lucifers, when um, one of the... It's 21 Lucifers, 21 devils, mm. 21 of them. And only one... It was one particular called Azazel that came to Eve in the garden, that beast. Mm -hmm. It's 21 of them. That's why when um when Daniel prayed to the Lord, uh, Angel, um the, the prayer him. his prayer was held up twenty one days. Mm -hmm. And one of the highly Satanist men that wrote a book, mm -hmm. he didn't put the mark six 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 on his um book, but seven seven seven. See, this the mark of the beast is the system. Mm -hmm. It's not the number of the beast. It's the number of the beast, but the the number of a beast is a system. Oh, I think that I'm not there. Yeah, it's a system. Okay. It's true, true. It has, it's a system, but it leads to a man also, though. Right. But the most satanic number is 777. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hard to get. I, I got that from looking online. Yeah, me too. And I found the Lord points. See, most, stuff, most, most of the stuff online is garbage. But some of it was um, good uh -huh. stuff, and God had pointed it out to me. But that's a good clue. And I looked in the book of Enoch, and it says that there are seven, 21 of them. Uh -huh. It ain't in the Bible. In the Bible, it leads you to think that it's only one devil. Yes. From reading the Bible. Yeah. From reading the Bible, they give you more of a... Uh, uh, a notion that is uh, only one devil, mm -hmm. but the Bible, what the Bible says though, it does say that uh, there's uh, many antichrists. The Bible says that, but scriptures like that, people ignore it because they, in their mind, they want to believe that it's only one devil. Because they then they say, because uh, Satan or Lucifer or whatever, but the two are different. Lucifer was is not a name it's a it's a meaning mm -hmm. and it means sons of the morning mm -hmm. sons of the morning see jesus was a bright and morning star but lucifer is a son of the morning meaning god jesus god mm -hmm. and they were the sons of the morning and they're in the book of um in the beginning of the bible in the book of job and they're called and they're spoken of them like this it said there was a day when the sons of god came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan, this spirit, was in them. Uh -huh. In them. Uh -huh. Same spirit, Lucifer. I mean, same spirit, Donna, and the uh -huh. truth God. Uh -huh. They speak against this is the spirit of Jezebel uh -huh. that speaks against the prophet, uh -huh. Elijah. That's the spirit of Jezebel. All the way back in the Bible, well, I get down, where they speak against the man of God. Yeah. And they ain't got nothing good to say about a man of God. Sure and they try to get whoever do believe in them to believe he's the devil. Yeah, kill him. See, that's the spirit of Jezebel. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you got me going everywhere now. I forgot where I was at. I'm all over the place. I forgot, man. I forgot where I was at at first, though. I sure did. But anyways, um, oh, I was talking about, oh, yeah, the number, the most satanic number mm -hmm. is 777 because it's, in the book of Enoch, I read where it says there's 21 um, Satan spirit. This spirit is overtaking 21 of these beings that, that, that choose to leave their heavenly abode. Mm -hmm. And there was in the giant. They was in the Pharaoh kings in Egypt. Remember in Egypt? Mm -hmm. 
when they had the kings and the pharaohs, mm -hmm. them spirits was in those great men. And then they was in the entertainers. Mm -hmm. Great entertainers, they, they had that spirit in them. Yeah. And then when that person died, they went somewhere else. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Oh, man, you hear me? I'm tired already. It, like, uh, just when, like Jesus, when the devil said, let's go into the pigs. Yeah, that's what I was just trying to say, man. I was just trying to say that. Good God, I'm dying. I'm quitting now. You're spooking me out. I want my leg back. The body of Christ is coming. You know what I see that happen? First, God renews our spirit and our mind. And then we get the activation of the blood. And then we're going to get the activation of the body itself. We're going to speak unto these bones. They're going to come together. That's why they never broke Jesus' yeah, bones. Yeah, I heard it.